friends, I'm back again. Um, I wanted to show a science experiment that is also an art activity. So we can um, learn a little, we can do some science, we can do some experimenting, and then we can um, make into a, a beautiful art project. So hopefully I can show all this in the video. Um, what I wanted to, first my materials. Um, I am using a pan. This is a little bit deeper than a cookie sheet or something that you that you make cookies on, but you could use a cookie sheet, that would work. And this is wax paper. It comes in a container like this. Or if you don't have wax paper, you might have, mom might have parchment paper. Um, and that will work as well. Um, that's something that she might use or dad might use for baking or for roasting vegetables. Okie dokie, but I'm going to start here with my wax paper and I'm going to try to hold this up like this as much as I can. So, we talked about raindrops and we talked about, I mean, we talked about rain. So raindrops, when they fall on your window, do you know how they stay in a drop for just a little bit and then they sometimes they drip off, sometimes on your car if it has um, some wax on it, that the drops stay all separate. Well, that's the science that we're going to learn about today. You see this wax? We're going to see what happens when we drop colored drops on uh, this wax paper. Do you think they're going to stay in drops or do you think they're going to run all together? And let me show you what we're going to use. So I just took some food coloring. Again, this is something you might have at home. And I used um, I have four of these little jars. I use just a little bit of water and I just drop down some, drop some of that food coloring in here. And I have four colors today. I have blue, I have green, I have pink or red, and, and purple. This is, I'm telling you, it will get all over your fingers, and um, that's okay, but I'm just telling you that we have to be careful, and a grown-up really needs to um, help you with this project. So, on my wax paper, oh, the other thing I'm using, which I don't know if you have, this is a little dropper. Uh, you might have an eyedropper or a medicine dropper in your cabinet. Um, I think you can, if you don't have a, a something that that would drop things on. You can even use um, a little teaspoon. Um, but we're going to use this dropper, and because I only have one dropper, I have um, I have a little little container of water that I'm going to rinse it out with um, between colors. So I'm going to start with blue, and I'm just going to squeeze it. See, I just get a little on there, and then let's see. I'm going to Hold this up so you can see. Uh, okay, you see the drops? One, two. What is happening, boys and girls? You see it's all, it all stayed in one spot, didn't it? You see that? Just stayed in one spot. Okay, let's, I'm going to rinse that out. Let's try some pink. See what's happening, boys and girls, is when I drop it, it's like it spreads out and then it um, goes back into the drop. See that? Is that the coolest? All right. I'm going to quickly do a few of my other colors. Green, 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 green. Ooh. And I am balancing this on my knees, so... And that, that wet spot that you see right there was just some that was left over from, I tried it out before I, before I did this, so my pan was a little bit wet. And so I have one more color purple. You will soon be using these colors, I bet, to dye, what do we dye at Easter? Easter eggs, that's right. Okay, so we find that the wax that's on the wax paper 
it is, um, it resists the drops so that the drops stay in little droplets. You see that? Okay, now for the um, art part of it. So I'm gonna get my piece of paper. I have a white piece of paper. If you don't have paper, now this is construction paper, you can use an, another kind of paper. You just need to be really careful with it. And, um, or a paper towel, it'll even work. So what do you think? Do you think that when I press this on, I'm gonna lay it on top of here. Um, now, do you think the spot, the dots, It's when I pick the paper up, it's just gonna be dot, dot, dot? Or do you think it's all gonna be together? And I am starting to see, can you see that? It's starting, if I leave it just like that, it might just stay dots, but I am going to smash it. I'm going to press down and see what happens. Are you ready for your masterpiece? Ta-da! Isn't that the coolest? Yeah, it looks like rain, doesn't it? You made a watercolor painting with your colored raindrops. Okay, that's the science and art experiment. Please be careful and please use a grown-up, but this is a lot of fun with, I hope, some things that you might have at home. All right, see you later, friends. Bye-bye.